Alrighty, folks. Thanks for coming by and checking out quality knife sharpening here at Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. I can't sit around waiting on the goddamn post office any longer. I have been trying and trying and trying to possibly do a video about my new little collection I got going on and it ain't even close to complete because I can't get the post office to move fast enough. I mean, it's unbelievable how, you know, I get something from the same company already have had it, didn't like it, sent it back all on the same day that I ordered something else from the same company and it's not even going to be delivered to maybe till tomorrow. And I am, I am tired of waiting around. So I'm going to show you and I probably will still do another uh, video about these knives and this subject. What you're looking at here is the knife, one of them, in the Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro. But let me show you what I'm talking about. That right there. That's what I call my jelly bean knives. It, it's the tiny, tiny, little Boker Automat Kalashnikov 74 California legal mini knife. I mean, it's a mini. Let me close it up and show it to you. There's how big it is in my hand. I don't want to cut myself because I got one right here that is razor blade sharp. All right. Now, I have some others. Here's another one that's a little mini. This is a different design. This is the Vox design. It's a totally different knife. This is D2, hard, hard, hard steel. Not sure if I'm all that crazy about D2. All these, you know, knife dudes, all they do is rave about D2. Well, really, like I give a crap in a little knife like this, I've got a Gen 3 Pro sitting here. I can sharpen to my heart's content. These, this one right here that I just showed you, Aus 8. Says it right there, Aus 8. Now, a lot of bokers I've seen do not come with a very you know, finished end. And that's the subject here, is these right there, I mean, there's no sharpening, what do they call that, a sharpening notch, sharpening choil, whatever all the terminology is. But this one here is a Boker Jim Wagner reality-based blade. Not so bad on this one to sharpen. This one is also killer. It's on eBay right now. Go ahead, find it, and make your offer. The reason I'm getting rid of it is it's not an auto. It is a push-button lock system. Push the button right there. Push the button. Open her up. Push the button. Close her. Now it's locked. But let's go back to these little, these things are really so badass. These little knives. Oh, here's the other one I wanted to show you. I had it in my pocket. This is the Stubby Strike. These knives have millions and millions of different variations all over YouTube. And I'm going to go over them, but not on this video. I'm going to show you something else that may make your life easier or you just may 
not even give a hoot. But this is the little mini strike. I think it's a much, much better knife in general. The whole strike series is a much better knife, I believe, than these Kalashnikovs. Okay. The strike is much more substantial of a knife. Big, small, medium, whatever. It's much more of a substantial because it's got liners. Liners with aluminum on the outside plus a safety. Much stouter blade. Okay, just the way the blade is designed, it just seems stouter. This Kalashnikov, they're, I mean, these things are bad to the bone, but this little tiny stubby strike is even badder. I mean, it just really is. It just feels more substantial in your hand for one of those California legal knives. I'm in the great state of Florida where we are the home of the free. We don't put up with any of this bullshit. I'm tired of hearing about this. Oh, don't buy this knife if you're, you know, you have your state laws. Okay. Let me let me ask you out there. How many times have you been frisked down by the police and they found you had a knife that was an inch too long that was an auto. Oh my God. I'm just wondering. You know, these, these this is all this is all this this California legal thing. It's all a marketing deal. It's all marketing. I mean, yeah, you know, out in Wackafornia. I'm sure there's some cops out there that go right along with the Wackafornia stuff. Okay? But I don't think you're going to be bebopping down the street and you're going to get stopped and frisked. If you're getting stopped and frisked, it's because you're already doing shit wrong. How about that? That's how it works. Nice safety on this. Much more of a substantial knife. Then I got this little Vox designed one. It's an aluminum. It's very, very, very lightweight. Here's where I'm getting into ease of sharpening. This is about sharpening your bokers. This Vox design little stubby, California legal, from Blade HQ with blue. It's also, it's an auto. And this one is made out of D2. It says Vox design. Some guy, some name I can't pronounce. All right, so what happens? See how this one right there has that little indent? That little indent. And that is for sharpening. And I don't really care what sharpening you're, sharpening device you're using. It may not matter in every one of the sharpening devices across the globe. But I was sharpening these because pretty much bokers come dead ass dull. If you think that boker that you just bought is coming and it's super sharp, well, you don't know what sharp even is then. That one has the little sharpening ed, little choil on it. And I was going to show you this. Now, this camera's going to make a little squeak or something here. Okay. I have been putting a sharpening notch right where my finger is, my fingernail. Hopefully you can see it. Here's a little pointer. Because, see this big, thick part right here? That would go right in to the edge. And I was hoping to have my new ones that aren't sharp, that don't have this, here to show you what it looks like. But... 
What I've been doing is putting this, I don't have to do it in certain ones, like on this stubby strike, I could put it there, but it wasn't that bad. There wasn't this ginormous hump here. Look how small it is here compared to here. All right, so this one made it easier to get closer. When you've got a blade this small, don't you want to utilize every inch, every centimeter of that blade? I know I do. So this was, I'd say, from about right here all the way back to this big tang part, I guess you'd call it. This part right here, it did a yeah, all of a sudden I'm thick. What this did is gave me a place, since I am using the Wicked Edge Diamonds, this isn't the diamonds, this is lapping film. And even if you were using a Lansky, it doesn't matter. By putting one of these in here on these knives, I believe it kind of benefits you because you got a place that the stone can go up to. It's just something I observed. What I do is I use this. I use this to get right in here like that and go and I make a little groove. I have not heard anybody complain about this but it's on every single Kalashnikov okay here's the black one I did it on that right so it's on every one of these Kalashnikov knives and it gets old because they're so dull when they come from the factory that you can guarantee I am putting a wicked edge on these things I mean you can see I mean I got some I got some edge going on, on on these. So what happens when you do that? Well, I also, after taking that cut, take my Spyderco ceramic ceramics here, which I use for serrations, okay, because I'm outfitted to sharpen all knives in every way. And I take this teardrop shaped one here and after I cut it I go in here like this and I smooth it out. I have watched almost every single cotton picking damn video on YouTube about the Kalashnikovs, the strikes, the stubby strikes, the Voxes, this one. I've watched all these videos and not a single person has said, God, do you see this crap at the end here? Maybe I'm just being a little like, you know, anal about this. But no one mentions it this. I mean, are these guys just buying knives and playing with them? And they're never sharpening their knives I mean I take this out of the package and go uh, okay this thing sucks boom it's going to be sharpened because I have the ability to do so I make sure like I'm in the charter fishing business right I have a boat but the boat can't get to the water if the trailer is a piece of garbage so I'm always maintaining my trailer to get my boat to the water. Well, that's what sharpening is all about. Before the blade goes into action, I'm going to make sure it's got an un unbelievable edge to it. Now, I'm not going to go into everything that, okay, I sharpen these to a 21 degree edge. That's not what they really are. As a matter of fact, I don't care what they really are. 
I'm doing them all 21. It seems to be a nice, comfortable edge for these. And that is just ungodly sharp. I never hear anybody talk about how this is such a dead spot of non-sharpness at all in here. And if it wasn't for the god dang USPS, where it takes to go from Utah to Jacksonville, Florida, it's taking like over a week or more to bring two more of these in different colors. And like I said, there will be a jelly bean type video coming up because I'm going to join the club of doing video about these little mini Kalashnikovs and stuff. There's more videos about the just plain old mid-size Kalashnikov than the minis or than the than the these little subs they call them. They're subs, minis, standard, and XXL. That's the progression of these knives. I, I just couldn't take that. And, and this isn't a new thing. This isn't new. A lot of manufacturers failed to put in a little sharpening choil, I believe it's called, right? And this is so subtle, but it made all the difference when it came to sharpening. You can see it right there. There's, there it is. It was very easy to put in. I just pulled out the Dremel and I put that notch in there. And it just made everything so much better. I just thought I would throw this out there. I do not know if the rest of you... I mean, it's so subtle even on this one. If you can see it. Very subtle. But imagine that this big square was sort of blending into the blade and it was blending in all the way to here. So really I wasn't getting, and you're not getting, if you're sharpening it. Because see now, right up to here, that's sharp. Right up to that very, that notch. From my fingernail forward, it is very sharp. This is something I just never hear anybody talk about. And I'm thinking to myself, what are these guys doing? Oh, they're just raving about the knife. They're raving, 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 raving. But they don't get down to the, you know, the, the details. They're all out in the weeds somewhere. Got two more coming of different colors. I don't know when they're even going to be here. I mean, they say tomorrow, but <laughs> can you really believe anything the United States Postal Service says? I just thought I'd show it. I can get right in here now. I get right up in there. Oh, and it works so much better. And like I said, there's a couple here. I didn't really have to do that because that isn't a big, thick clump right there at the end. The Strike and the Sub Kalashnikov. Really kind of two different animals. And I believe this is the better animal. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped in some way, because it sure did help me. Take care.